The Long Beach Police Department has recently acquired new technology that allows officers to automatically read license plates and compare them to wanted vehicle databases. This is called ALPR, or Automated License Plate Recognition. Each ALPR vehicle has three cameras mounted on the light bar that can read license plates in all weather and in complete darkness. Each camera contains both a color overview and infrared camera. The system compares plates to four databases at this time. We are searching for wanted felony vehicles, local wanted vehicles, stolen vehicles, and vehicles with lost or stolen license plates. If the system finds a match in a database, the officer will be alerted both visually and audibly. Now we want to get all the new information, uh, all the stolen vehicles that are out in the field. So what we're going to do is we're just going to hit begin shift. The process is wireless. It's now uploading all the databases and it's done. Um, what we're seeing is typically between three and 4,000 plates a shift. Um, being read and compared to the database. Opposed to the old way, which is just manually in inputting plates on the computer, the quickest guy, I think we saw 150, 200 a, sh a shift. So you're comparing a lot of information um, that you normally just would have driven right by to databases. So basically you're just cruising down the lot. You can go, you could be going 50 miles an hour um, and it will read them. Obviously the slower you go the better, um, but it's pretty, uh, it's pretty efficient. I'm going 80. And it's catching the cars going the opposite direction that I'm sure are going at least 80. And if you're driving along, and you, the computer actually sees the car, you'll get a hit. And it takes about one second from when the camera sees it to uh, when it displays it on the screen. But it automatically pops up, so you don't have to worry about fumbling with the computer and all that kind of stuff. And to verify it, obviously, you just go back to your Tiburon screen. If something happens and you're on a call and say a 211 goes out, you have the ability to manually input uh, plates into the system as well. Um, to do that, what you'll do is you'll just hit manual plate entry. Let's do this truck up here. Um, call goes out it's 7 Charles 65885 right hit plate no match in database there's no match in the system we're just going to make a note it's a uh, it's just going to be a test but you can put whatever you wanted into there hit save Saved. now the next time you see it he's going to turn off but it, as soon as you see, it sees the plate, the alarm will go off. And it gives you all the information that you inputted. It gives you a picture of the car, the plate as it saw it, and then the plate as it interpreted it to be. The machine will keep every single read that, you, that you've collected until you downshift or uh, end shift. Just hit the next button, and you can actually toggle through every single plate that you read. What's neat this information is downloaded or uploaded to the uh, to the server or we can actually use it for data mining so if you want to know was this plate for Robert David Nora 096 seen in the city of Long Beach by one of our license plate readers you can query the plate and every single time it's been seen that we still have in the database it'll bring up the picture and the information with the timestamp it's not showing here but we have a timestamp and a GPS coordinate and you can map the uh, the location of the vehicle. So if you have a murder vehicle, a 187 out vehicle with a plate that you have, you could query the system to see where in the past it's been seen.